trunk to sit on because I have been walking around for literally hours and hours. Welcome to home time, by the way. I find being a parent sometimes so bloody confusing. Don't you? I mean, I really do. It's like, you know, Kiki is really into skateboarding, which I love. And I love that she's passionate about something. And um, it's great exercise. It's a skill. Want her to do it as much as she can. Love the fact that she's got friends that she goes off and does it with. But here's the thing. So we've come to a different skate park today. So it's not quite in our area. Uh, I don't quite know much about what goes on around it and so I've come with her and I have just spent the last four hours walking round and round and round and round the park because I'm not allowed to be seen with her I'm not allowed to be near her because I'm so embarrassing and I get it of course I'm embarrassing you know I'm her mum and of course you know she's getting older she wants to she wants to just do her own thing and you know quite a few of her friends um but well, all her friends are the same so you know what kids all want to do what their friends do but I just feel really, and she was talking about the next time she comes in, now she knows the way on the bus, she can just come on her own. And, and I say, yeah, great, great. But actually, in, this is where I get confused. Am I supposed to now encourage that? Because it's broad daylight. It's very, very busy park. Um, I mean, literally, it, there's just hundreds and hundreds of people dotted about. Or is she still too young? I don't know, I want to encourage independence. I love, you know, she really used to suffer from anxiety when she was younger, Kiki, and we've worked really hard on that. And I'm really proud of how she's done and how she's come on. And um, I'm just gonna go a bit quiet here because I'm just passing some people. And it's always really embarrassing when you're talking into your phone. There you go, they've passed me now. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, look at that little dark look. So pretty here just lovely um yeah am I supposed to just yeah yeah I'm torn I'm torn between the fact that it's great that she's uh, independent and she wants her freedom and she's not needing me as much but I'm also the world is just scary isn't it but then does it matter she's with three other friends they've all got phones should I the next time just let her come on her own I don't know. Is there safety in numbers these days? Am I being, because part of me, at one point I said to her today, oh, you, if you don't want me there, and I was thinking what I'll do is I'll just go home and then when she's finished, I can come and pick her up. But I suddenly felt uneasy with that. I thought that didn't felt right, felt, feel right. That felt like, am I doing a bit of benign neglect? You know, it suits me to go home and get on with stuff. So do I, am I really in my head going, yes, it's fine for you to stay, but is it? But is it? Anyway, I decided it wasn't fine for me to go and I, and I stayed here. But now, I literally don't know what the answer is. Like if this was a friend asking me for advice, I wouldn't know what to say. So what do you think, guys? It's a lovely sunny day. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of people around. Three girls on their own. Would you leave them for hours and hours? Four hours? Because actually, I've been here four hours, but actually she'd probably like to be here another couple. I can't, I just can't stay another couple of hours. I've got too much to do. You know, should I just be letting her just come and lose some, you know, that lovely thing of childhood of just losing hours, just losing hours with no, I mean, I have texted her quite a few times and called her a couple of times. We wouldn't have done that when we were kids, would we? I'd really love your thoughts. I genuinely would really love your thoughts on it. I know they'll be varied because everybody has a different approach to bringing up their kids. But I'm struggling with this as a question. I really am. I mean, you know, Maddie this year, she's 16. She's going to her first festival, music festival. It's the legal age. She can go at 16. Lots of people think we're totally mad for letting her to go. But she's a really responsible kid. Music is her great love and her great passion. It's one of the most exciting things, isn't it, when you're young to go to a festival? So we've made that decision and we've said she can go. So that we sort of just have to park. But right coming up the back of it, 
is Kiki. What do you think? What would you do? Would you let her come next time on her own? Spend hours without any parents, which is a very important part of growing up. And that freedom where you just lose time. I mean, I was talking about this the other day, how Mark and I were talking about, you know, do you remember when we were kids and we'd, and we'd just go out and play? And then we just knew by the feel, didn't even have a watch, just by the feel, the temperature, the dimming that it was time to go home. My kids have never had a single day like that in their whole childhood. Maddie never, never once. She can't play out on our road. She can't play out in our park. We live in South London. It's a scary place. Have I got to let go? Am I being a helicopter parent? Or am I just being a responsible parent? <sighs> We're going on um, an unexpected little holiday with all the family, which will be really, really nice. But it does mean swimming costume time. And it's funny, on this long walk that I've done this afternoon, I've started to, I started to go into all that thing that I've done my whole life, which is the swimming, swimming costume chat. You know, oh, what about if I just go on a juice diet until we go away? Oh, what about if I just eat grilled fish and salad? Oh, it's that stinking thinking that is in my head and has ruled so much of my effing life that I do deal with now because I've worked really, really hard on it. I've worked really hard on it. Um, but I still do have to be really conscious. Like I was thinking about it for a whole 10 minutes before I had consciousness, a whole 10 minutes wasted on my walk, thinking about what was it gonna look like? What was it gonna be like? Maybe I just don't get in the pool. Maybe this, maybe that. All this, all this shit, this shit. You know, we were talking about this the other day on, um, on the loose late and it's just so tiresome, isn't it? <sighs> Not crying in a sad way, I'm just like, it's just the waste of time thinking about these things. Not now, because I do feel so much better about everything, but when I look back over my life and I just think of all the fucking years I wasted thinking about these things. You know, Mark sent me a picture out of the blue the other day. I was at Lisa Women and he sent me this picture. And I'm not kidding you guys. I looked at it and it was just so beautiful. You know, I was in my 20s and it was just so beautiful. It was just, I texted Mark back and I said, you know, every day I just hate myself. I just thought I was fat, I thought I was ugly, I thought I was this, I was that. It's just such a load of old shit. If you're young and you're watching this, please do me a favour. Please, and do yourself a favour. Don't get to 50 before you realise it's all just a fucking waste of life. <sighs> Helicopter. Sorry, I keep turning back and forth because I keep seeing people walking towards me and I don't want to talk to anyone today. <laughs> it's just a fucking waste of a life, I tell you. It's just the gratitude for these amazing, amazing bodies we have. That's what we've got to get. Just gratitude, all this shit. That is my st I mean, a friend of mine at work the other day, Donna, honest to God, she has the most perfect body. Donna May, you'll know her from Instagram. Our makeup artist at work and a really good friend of mine. And I've been on two holidays with her where I have lain on a sunbed looking at her, looking for one tiny mark somewhere on her body, a stretch mark, a cellulite dimple, and anything. She's not got a single roll of flat. Her stomach is totally, totally flat. She's got an all over tan. And there's me thinking, oh, she must be, be as confident as anything. I've known her for years. The other day she said to me, do you know, Nadia, the first thing I do every morning when I wake up is look at my belly and go, well, 
I said, what do you mean? Well, just, just, well, it is. I've got like this line, I've got like this roll. I couldn't have been more shocked. I just couldn't have been more shocked. We're all fucking mad. We're all mad. We've all lost the effing plot. You know? What is the matter with us? You know, all the women that I know in my life are just like incredible women with amazing fucking hearts. Hard working, grafting, funny. Just, oh. I just, if I have one wish in my life, it's that my girls, Just don't waste a fucking minute on this shit. <sighs> I wish I could have felt the way I feel now. When I was in my 20s, my 30s, my 40s, what a waste of time, what a waste of time and energy and, and what a waste of me, fucking hell. <laughs> what a waste of a person. There's so much just like, I mean, there's just so much going on in the world um, and I just feel like I indulged myself for so many years worrying about shit. <sighs> it's so fucking brilliant being in your 50s sometimes, girls. Don't get me wrong. I don't like the bone loss, the hair loss, the menopausal weight, the tiredness, the tooth loss. I don't like any of that. But I really like the fact that I've got rid of all that shit. And I just think this incredible body carries me every day, does whatever I need it to do. It's walked for four hours for me today, you know. Anywho. I'm back. Um, do you think my hair makes me look older or younger? Pardon? My hair. I really like it. Yeah. So I'm back home now, guys, after my marathon walk. I was having a good old chat with the subs. Have you? Sorry. No, good. This afternoon. Um, yeah. So now we're in Joe Wick's hell. Why? <laughs> We've got to make Mark something. So I'm making Mark. It's Joe a non exercise day today. Um, so so I'm protein heavy. Which so is. You're what? having Joe Wick's meatballs. So talk me through the protein concept. Is that like when you're doing Atkins, you can eat any amount of protein? Well, you all have. This is not no carb. If this was no, no carb, you wouldn't be having tomatoes in it. You wouldn't be having... We're playing fast and loose with the definition of a carb here, aren't we? Are all vegetables carbs? Yes. But, I'd... of course, but there's heavy carbs, complex carbohydrates. If but... you were to eat a human being, would the human being have any carbs in it? I don't know. These are the vital if questions. There were, if anyone has a husband that asks more stupid questions than Mark, can you please... Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> when I was a child, I used to ask oh questions God, of my I grandparents incessantly. I now like. realise that perhaps my grandfather's Jeez. silent depression was caused by the by child you. in the back of the car. Why how many there churches there? are there in China? He, he, there? I asked him how many churches there were in China, and he was very, after probably about 18 other questions, and he was very quick to go, none. It's, <laughs> it's a communist state. Just to shut you up. Well, no, but he was right. And then I sort of stopped, and I paused, and I thought... What are communists? And then he just wished he'd never mentioned the word. <laughs> That's a big one. In fact, I did ask what a communist, and he said, your, your mother. <laughs> uh, yeah, so carbs versus protein. So anyway, so I'm going to make Mark this. Yeah. Which is turkey meatball bake. I don't know you can ask. I know you're wanting to knock it into the long grass, but have you got over falling at the premiere of Rocket Man in front of hundreds of people oh yesterday? God, I had to have a conversation with my sister. She rang me when I was in Marks and Spencer's, so I'm chatting away with her because she wants all the inside information. I said, come on, everybody has said to me, Dina, oh, you recovered really well, yeah. you know, you didn't know. Just tell me the truth. Oh, you no don't one, ever ask Dina for the truth. There is no one as brutal as Dina. No. And she went, there was a pause, she went, nah, nah, you're all right, you're all right. <laughs> oh, oh, so, oh, that's good. But she said she didn't know anything about it. It was all everyone at work was saying, oh, what about your sister falling over? And I said, well, she, I said, she Where said, so-and-so so knew and so-and-so knew. I said, well, how did they know? She goes, they saw it on your Instagram. I said, did you not see it on my Instagram? She, I said, she, no, she said, they follow you on Instagram. I said, do you not follow me on Instagram? She goes, I do, but I don't understand it. So I, I never see anything. <laughs> it's odd, isn't it? Yeah. 
So I think she felt a bit um, disarmed. Really I'm going to ask people, do, are there, right, oh no, you're not going to be able to put the comment. I was going to ask, how many people watching this don't have YouTube accounts that can't comment? But of course, they can't comment because they don't have YouTube accounts. It's like a catch-22 head hole, isn't it? Um, I think we have a lot of people on Instagram who don't know how to watch us on YouTube, if I'm honest. Right, so I've got your yep, turkey yep. leg going on. It's all kicking off over and here. at the same time, I'm going to do the girls' spaghetti bolognese. So I'm going to have two pans going at the same time. Fab Fabaloonie. Um, no, this yeah. is proper multitasking, folks. Two ding dings. That's what I did the other night. I did steak and sea bass, and I timed them both to perfection. I had the steak <coughs> sizzling for a, to for, for a total of seven minutes, and I timed the sea bass to have done their five minutes shown to the grill just in time. Oh. Tell them how fabulous that sea bass recipe is. The sea bass recipe is remarkable. Easy. You simply Easy. cover them in, well, you don't cover them. You sort of drizzle a little bit of oil on each side of the thing. Like plonk them on the, on the uh, uh, griddle, on the grill pan, whatever you call it. Shove it under the grill five minutes. And you know what the definition of when they're done is? Little bubbles. Like bubonic plague. Oh, I don't know if I agree with what he's saying here. Do you want me to do exactly how Joe does it? Do not question the Joe. You don't want to question. Do not question okay. or query the Joe. Let's just have it's a It's my Joe. I tell you things, when I've read other ones of his rec other recipes of his, and I've gone, ooh, I don't like the sound of that. To be fair, He's and I know right. he is my competition. In more ways Somebody than commented one. underneath, bloody hell, they re Joe Wicks really should be paying you guys. We can already see the difference in Martin. It's true. Somebody should be paying us. Yeah, I've still but got... they're not, and that's why where it's not working, we're going to tell you. But hang on, I've got a huge bone to pick with you and that lovely woman in Cornwall. My chest hair has grown back. <laughs> well, of course it's going to... Thicker. Gonna... She said a month. It you won't both said a month. Thick. No, we said eventually. No. What happens the is... The hair on my chest is almost as thick as Stephen's hair on his head. No, it's not. And eventually I have soft-showing acne spots on my chest because of it. Because of you. Stephen, of... yeah, she made me have my she made me have my chest waxed as punishment. Never get your chest waxed. <laughs> yeah, absolutely unforgivable. He's not silly. He'd have said no. He'd, he'd have slung you in the sea. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't fun, Stephen. No. I'd taken years perfecting those hairs. And I had. You had to, I mean. Yeah. And they all amounted to just one piece of sellotape. <laughs> it was ghastly. Right, so I'm going to do the bolognese at the same time as doing the turkey. So. She does a mean spag bowl. Actually, Maddie does a mean spag bowl. Maddie does a mean now. spag bowl. Maddie's fantastic. Have you seen you make this before or not? Uh oh. Oh, it's not a lesson. Today. I had a bit of a shocking read on the type from the oh, Times. What? In that. They were saying, I haven't read the full article yet. I just saw it, I was just, just getting off the bus. Um, that they are saying that they believe that a lot of children who live on a main road, the fumes give them anxiety, showing in the, as they're 12-year-old because it affects their developing brain. I Kiki. agree. Oh, I must have had something wrong with the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Christ. Well, Heathrow Airport as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So bad. Pollution. Really worried. And our, our girls' subs have literally, their their bedroom faces onto the main road. Oh, don't. Yeah. But you know really what they're saying now, that even house plants will make a huge difference. Really? The air. There was a big piece in the Times yesterday oh, saying, God, get, get as many house plants. The scientists are saying, get house plants. NASA. It came from NASA. Wow. So NASA are saying, the girls you know when they create those bubbles in space and... and you know, you can create your own oxygenated interior. Well, the girls' rooms, because we're at the back, but they're at the front. We've got to do something. I feel really bad about it. But seriously, like rubber plants and spider plants, you know, anything, any house plant. Cheese plants. Cheese plants, plants. that's a good one. My mum always had cheese plants in the front lounge. Yeah, we always had I don't really like the look of them, though. They're a bit I 70s. Quite, I like a kind of house plant corner. Yeah, let us know if you think of anyone. Let's have a look. 
Let us know if you. Oh yeah, show the subs. We've got show new the subs, yeah. areas. Look. Have you seen that film, Monsters Inc? Yeah. <laughs> the girl said it's like Monsters Inc with all the doors. I said, at least your nightmare. Oh my God, Nads, look. The shelves. Great. That's brilliant, Stephen. Look, it's got shelves. And then I folded the top all the way around there and all. Ah, oh, brilliant. And what's brilliant, Nads, is used all the floor floorboards. God, that's so good. Oh, you're clever, aren't you? So then tomorrow I'll put the skirt and the board in brilliant. the carpet tray. Right? Oh yeah, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. You've got shelves. I know, Danny. We've got architrave and a uh, skirting board going in. Oh. I've never bought architrave before, but I did. It's quite exciting. So NASA officially say get houseplants to create an oxygenated well, interior. That is what we are going to do, big but, time. But you so, hate houseplants. But don't you think that's so fascinating with Kiki? Yes. An optimum, yeah. But anyway, another really interesting story today. Which I just, I cannot actually believe. So British guy goes over to America on a three month visit stay. His girlfriend lives in America. Mm -hmm. So um, customs, you know what they can be like in America, Ooh, horrendous. God, very, very, I cracked a joke once, they nearly arrested me. Don't crack me. a joke. So, so they question him at customs and they're not, they're not quite happy with him. So they took his phone and scrolled through all his messages joking about his relationship with his girlfriend, reading the messages, then say to find a message where he says, where, where they were in the middle of a row, and he says to her, I can't believe that you're treating me like this when I'm moving over to see you, to stay with you. When I'm coming over to stay with you. Oh yeah, I'm coming to stay with you for three months. Yeah. They decide that he was trying to illegally come into the country. No. He's a Brit. They put him into, into they cuff him, Put him in a cell with four other people. There was only a hole for the toilet. He said it was disgusting. The light was kept on the whole time. No food, no toilet, no nothing. Like Treated completely like a criminal. He started to cry at one point because he was so desperate because he knew his girlfriend was the other side. And like, you know, and we would have been really yeah. worried as to where he was. To which they said, man up, get over it. Made him pay 700 quid for a flight to return home the next day oh and God. just sent him home. Oh my God. He's like Russia. They're very touchy, the American border police. So just a warning, guys, if you're going to America, oh, if yeah. there's anything on your phone you don't want them to read, because obviously there will have been other messages between him oh, and his yeah. girlfriend that they were taking the piss out of. Well, really? I have to... I mean, that, that, that's, that's, that's like Russia level. Or... Well, I don't... Yeah, I mean, I must admit, I mean, once, the first time I went into New York, they, they asked me something about our, who, who I was travelling with. Were we family? And I said, jokingly, yeah, yeah, we're brothers. And he went, but your names are different. I said, and he said, was that an attempt at a joke? I said, it wasn't really a joke. I was just being a bit jokey. And he said, right, we'll take you over to uh, customs inspection. So they, they looked into me. They made me wait an hour and a well, half. Well, I understand that. I understand that. I wasn't being I feisty. scrolling through your phone, looking at messages. Imagine if they looked through the messages you send me. I know, that's what I thought. All those ones of your bum. I thought next time we go to America, we are we are deleting our bloody messages. Yeah, because some of the ones you send, I mean, you'd need to get an entire. I mean, they were reading crack through arguments squatting. they'd had. The poor girlfriend was the other side. Can you imagine? They're young love, and they're like planning, and she's there for three hours. No, he wasn't allowed to call her. He wasn't allowed to tell her what was going on. I thought that was awful. Did you see Nigel Farage with the milkshake yeah. all over him? It was, was a that? brilliant photo. I have to confess, you know. I can see why some people like Farage. I can't stand him myself, but you can sort of see why people like him because he just says it as it is, doesn't he? he sort of smashes, shoots you between the head, between the eyes. Whenever politicians get hit by something, it's always so innocent, isn't it? It's like an egg, but you or it's a what? flower you know bomb. What? I've got a real thing about this because I don't think it is innocent at all. To be hit by anything is absolutely awful, and I think. You know, when you think of that poor girl, that poor MP, Joe. Um, oh my God, yeah, well, there's no comparison. No, no, obviously. no, no, but if you're in a climate where it's all right to throw something. I'm not sanctioning it by no, saying no, it I'm looks not, funny. No, I'm not saying that you do, but I'm just saying, I think there should be zero tolerance to it. Right. I think no. they should throw the book at people. <laughs> throw the book at people. <laughs> right, okay, well, there's a contradiction in terms. I think they should throw the book at people because there's just a climate at the moment. Of throwing it's okay things. okay because there's so much anger towards MP. And a lot of MPs 
are really living in fear. No, it's true. Terrible it's true. Threats. Like we're going to rape your children and some of them have had to be moved out of their homes. Bloody hell, I suddenly feel like I've been sanctioning violent behaviour towards politicians. Though. No, no, darling, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking generally. Do you remember when um, John Prescott was attacked by that band? Didn't they pour a bucket yeah, of water on him? Really they poured a bucket of water over his head at the MTV Awards or something Just weird. Just not on. I mean, remember it's that? really aggressive. Very aggressive. And, and the other thing is, you know... Um, you know, like an egg. Have you ever had an egg thrown Well, ah, uh, on that note, when I was a young boy, me and Perry Radford used to, out of his top floor flat window, drop eggs on girls walking past. About four floors below. He was in oh, a tenement awesome. block. Yeah. And I remember realising the damage that an egg can do because once I hit a girl perfectly, well, the egg dropped perfectly in the middle of her head. I think it broke blood. Broke her skin. Yeah, she was that. screaming. I, I thought I killed her. Awful. I was you only seven. You were not seven. I was you just took, you've just got Perry Radford. There, I so did. I wasn't with that. Perry Radford when I was Mark. eleven. I was at primary Mark. school. Oh my god! All right, I was thirty-six. Thank you. Yeah. yeah no, you, you're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> I like throwing eggs at girls' heads because it makes Mark. them chase you. It's I funny you. I beg your pardon. I hate dill myself. Um, it's funny you should say that. I like mint, but I don't know if I like mint in my food. Okay, what about dill? Do you like dill? I hate Let me dill. smell dill. I hate it myself. I don't know if I do or my if I don't. Loves dill, so I, I could be a, a dill do or a dill don't. A dill don't. <laughs> a dill do or a dill don't. Get what I did there. What was that? You just. <laughs> Mark, please don't. She just did a Mark, slapper and a flapper. Mark, what? Say I it. Really, Say it. Really, no, because fork makes no difference. It really does. Say it. Cannot. The I subs love it when you say fork. Fork. But say Mark, fork. Fork. <laughs> I think I'm a dill don't. Do not put that in. I think I'm a dill don't, not a dill do. Do. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. It. It makes me feel a bit sick. Yeah, I hate it. My mum loves it. Does she? Mm. You just called your mum a dildo. No, I've got a nightmare. I've got to clean this whole house because we've got friends of ours coming to house it and we're going away. Oh, God, yeah. And I am dreading it. Well, not just you. We all do it. You make it like you're some bloody... No, no, but you'll be happier no, with it. hang on a minute. You'll go, oh, that'll be all right. But when you've got people staying in every room... That's not... Hang on a minute. You're standing there saying, I'm cooking 8,000 meals. I've got to clean the house oh, on my own. Stop it. I'm not saying it like that. So that's coming You've across. Got a real problem. We can say anything about what you're doing, but nobody else ever can. I'm literally just telling them. Fork. Fork. So chippy. Fork. No, I just hate being characterised as untidy. Fucking hell. When did Fork. I say you were being untidy? Fork. You've got a big problem. Like, somebody would say something, you go, oh, it's all right. But what about me? It's like, I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't even thinking about you. It's bad, Mark. You need to see a drink. I didn't say anything half as critical as, of you Mark, as you just said of me. Is, you're just so annoying. Oh, my God. You can not put it in or not put it in. I don't care. But you are very, very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, there you go, subs. You can see how swiftly we can go from getting on to suddenly hating each other. I didn't say... Darling, you've come in with a chip the size no, of... No, I have. I've got no chip anywhere near me. Shh, let's stop because it's boring for people. They have their own arguments. They don't want to listen to ours. Well, you started it. <laughs> Fucking hell. I was just having a chat about dildo. Uh, whether, I like dill, <laughs> whether I like dill or not. And you I don't. don't. We are into turkey ball are these hell. Joe's balls? These are Joe's balls. Right. I'm just running them around in my hands at the minute. Beg your pardon? See, I don't understand why I'm putting all this in the sauce. What are the turkey burgers going to taste? These turkey are... balls? Well, it's just a very odd recipe. We'll see if it works. Do not question the Joe. Okay. Well, it's you that's got to eat it. Wix knows best. Is it Wix or Wick? Big bad Wick. Wick isn't a dick. She's handling Joe's balls with great Mark. care. Mark. <laughs> Can you turn that other gas on, sweetie? It's funny. Thank you. Oh, she's gone back to sweetie. It's nice when she talks like that. Mark. You're being really annoying. You're being a dick splash. 
I beg your pardon? <laughs> Being a what? Big splash. Anyway, as I was saying before, he went off on a diatribe about what everyone must think of him, but just because I said I've got I didn't. Clean. You're going to start it again? Look at you. Look at you. So the base, only person with a chip I know, is you. When do I ever say you don't chip. do stuff? It's so annoying. Go on. It's just so Tell annoying. us what you're saying. What's the thing that annoys you most about your husband? That's the thing that annoys me most about him. He's so chippy. So chippy. You are chippy, Mark. Oh, my God. You are. You're chippy, Mark. Chippy, Mark? That's what people call you. Who? Everyone. Fuck off! Everyone that knows knows too much swearing. Oh my god, in a minute you're gonna tell me to just be completely different. Chippy. What I got? Everything I say you're characterising as chippy. Chippy. Oh well, god, I was reading one of the comments that I was watching Sunday's vlog. I, can I just say? Oh my god, Mark, it's so funny. You are so funny in it. And somebody says in the comments, oh my God, it would drive me mad if I had you watching me when I'm exercising. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say, though, one of the comments I did briefly see, I will stop using foul language in front of the girls. I do apologise. I am very naughty. You are. I know. I'm, I'm saying it. I'm acknowledging it. Thank you, vlog. For fuck's sake, I'm saying it. Mark. The kids aren't here. I, I actually watched back my piece that I did in the park, and I was very sweary in that. And I thought we should put a little warning. I think it's because I was a bit emotional about it. But I noticed it and I did uh, Well, I mean, obviously, by the time... Uh, no, I haven't... I don't know what you've talked about. So, but by, I was about to say, by the time you see this, I'll have seen it. But I can't work out if that's true. <laughs> you will have. Because this will by now the be time version. you <laughs> see this, I'll have seen it. Yeah. But I you won't be able to tell you what I think of it. <laughs> You haven't actually seen it yet. Because I haven't really seen it. I, I don't really know what she's talking about. <laughs> so I don't know what you've just seen. Yeah. Even though I will have seen it at the point By that you the see, time it. They see it. see <laughs> it. <laughs> Christ almighty. That is a. And Einstein said time travel wasn't possible. We do it every day on this channel. We are Spider Man into the Spider Motor first. Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever is Spider Man. In the way. Every can, when the web I got every can. Spider Man. I know you can get excited if you're not making double, so you've got something tomorrow if you love. You've got double balls, baby. I love it when you make me balls. We have the uh, we have the spaghetti bolognese, we have the spaghetti bolognese. One of the same concept, one sort of held together and the other one isn't. No, it is, it is a bit different. You've got whiskey sauce and things going on. Hey. Really? Weird things. Because Joe knows best. Joe knows best. Big bad Joe. Right, what I'm going to do is... I always fry my tomato puree, guys. The Italians fry it. Fry it into olive oil. Until it sort of changes smell and changes colour. So those are your Joe's balls. You like saying that, don't you? Yeah, it's funny. It makes me laugh. Balls always make me laugh. Why? I don't know. It just makes they me make laugh. They make you laugh to look at them. Well, they are pretty ridiculous, aren't they? Do they make you laugh to look at them? What do, do women? Do boys laugh at their own balls? Boys find them funny. Do they? They jiggle Is that them that about. why they play with them so much? I don't think look, he's turned himself. Oh God, look. Oh, this is where me, I get to talk about my private part. No, I'm not. I'm, so I'm sure the subs would want to see what my cheeky little face is. No, oh, look, you've settled in. He's there for the night. No. We're why? Be talking about my <laughs> private part. No, no, I don't want to talk about my private part. Oh, you don't. No, I don't. Look at the look on your face. Have you ever seen anyone more ready to talk about their private parts than him? <laughs> All we're talking about is Joe's. Well, now you're doubly excited. Not only are you talking about your private parts, you're also talking about Joe's. So, do women... Th what do women think of men oh who have... Oh, God, I have... hate this. The generic, do women think... I can't talk about all women. Okay, what do you think of incredibly large balls? I've never seen incredibly large balls. But I do know somebody who, whose husband has incredibly large balls. 
and they have to, they have to, they, they have, he has to walk like this because they sit on the front of his legs. You're joking. I'm not joking. I'll tell you how true it is. Why has he got such big balls? I don't know. I suppose he's born with them. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Now, you were just telling me a little bit more about the oversized bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they're really big. Yes, is. We only saw them last week. They're really <coughs> big. They're unusually big. <coughs> I'll never be able to look at him again, the way he walks. I have noticed that he tends to walk sort of with his... he doesn't watch this vlog and recognise him. With his posterior pushed out, <laughs> not posterior. What's, your, what's the opposite of your posterior? Your posterior? What's your fronterior? I always remember there being a photograph of a man with two balls in a wheelbarrow and it caused great alarm to me and my male friends. We all got so worried that we were going to get gigantism of the bollocks. <coughs> it's, oh, it's all right. It's all this talk of balls. What have you done down the front? Just spaghetti all over it. Yeah, I told you. It's everywhere. Everywhere. I can't find my bloody lovely subs. <coughs> Apron. Those. You notice, you would notice the difference. <coughs> <coughs> would I? Yes. If I made the spaghetti bonnet, oh, this tastes a bit different. There's something Why missing. Because Joe doesn't say to put them in. I reckon Joe is always right, don't you? Do you reckon Joe ever gets anything wrong? Yes. Like what? What do you think Joe gets wrong? I don't think he gets much wrong. Done. He's so precise. He's so precise in everything he does. He's so measured. He's so sort of conscientious. Right, guess what? You get to have cheese on top of these. That's my balls. Mm -hmm. well, that's a lot of cheese. 80 grams. Wow. Sure you don't want it grilled? No. Would you like a bit less and have some Parmesan with it? No. Oh God, it's a lot of cheese. I love cheese. Should I put it in the microwave for a second, just to melt no. it down? Okay. There you go, there's your dinner. Have a dinner. Mm. Thanks, babe. Oh, Thanks, do you want Joe. some green veg? Yeah. Uh, what's the veg, But It's always good to have veg. Every meal. They're exciting. Joe's. Mm -hmm. Balls. I have been up all day. Hey? And it has been up today. Oh. It's been tight in your head. Oh. There's so much hair in this house. There's so much hair. Just as I walk around, there's just so much hair. Ah, God, look at the state of this kitchen. There's so much curly oh, hair. Apart from oh, Kiki's, it isn't curly at all. Do you? I tell you what, hang on. No, Ocean, Ocean. Do your voice off camera. Well, I'm not filming you, I'm filming me, but let's see if the subs... Well, whose voice is this? <laughs> it's a bloke in the house. It's not, it's Maggie's gorgeous it's little not, friend, yeah. Ocean. Show the motion. <laughs> That's so deep. It does, doesn't it? It's a 12-year-old girl. I want, why didn't you offer me one? Look at this, isn't this lovely? So when you make yeah, it... sort of, why didn't you offer me one? <laughs> Because you'd look silly. <laughs> cool, isn't it? We're about to do a trailer reaction to Guess What? Can I have a go at it? Put it in my head, put it in my head. Put it in my head. To Guess What? Ow. Downton Abbey. Ow. I'm not a fan of Downton Abbey. Go on, shove it in, shove it in. Shove it in. <laughs> oh, that wasn't done sensitively. <laughs> oh my God, that was scary. Oh God, that's so frightening. <laughs> Do you like my hairband, Kiki? You <laughs> bro. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, we are literally putting you on the tripod just before the trailer review. Once these kits have stopped. Literally, you're on the, you're on the tripod for a trailer review. If you go over to the down to buy. Can we get a kiss, Kiki. Can we get a kiss. Oh my God. Oh my God, I what? How ungrateful. I've days and five hours in the park and I don't get a kiss. Sounds so deep, doesn't it? Your mum's calling me now. 
Right. Your mom's calling me now. <coughs> Trailer. <laughs> <laughs>